Okay, I admit it, I don't get asked for a flamingo very often, but I do offer them when people ask. So what we're going to need is we're going to use a pink balloon. We're going to again leave again about 8 centimetres uninflated on the end, about a palm width. Make it not, probably a little, so about 10 centimetres uninflated at the end. If you've got a little too much, you can always deal with that. So that's going to be my flamingo. A flamingo is made in a very similar manner to a roadrunner, except in pink. What we're going to do is we're just going to put a short tail on, probably about an inch tail, so an inch bubble there, the tail. We're then going to give it two, well, seven inch, six inch bubbles, eight, there's going to be eight inch bubbles. So there's going to be that. And we take those and pinch them, oh, we twist Lock twist in here. We then make a pair, in this case about three inch bubbles, so make a three inch bubble, fold it over a three inch bubble, twist them together, and I lock those, those together, so I'm going to lock those, and lock twist those together. So I'm look, start looking flamingo-ish. I then want to lay this down. Check the length here. I'm going to make a body bubble that's just slightly shorter than those two. Now I'm going to do a roll through. Then I'm going to use with my fingers, I'm going to pull these two bottom ones apart. And if I can, push the top one through. And that is the body. See, notes the wings there. Then for the head, all I do is just like a swan. I put the head of the swan. Go like that, give a good squeeze. Notice how I'm holding the bubble there with my fingers. There's, notice the end here. I'm doing that a Giving a really good squeeze. As I say, the Homer Simpson method of wing sculpting. That is what I call a flamingo.